Bonjour, bienvenue de la petite France. En ce moment, nous sommes à Champs-Élysées. La belle to Diamond Island. It's called Diamond Island here in Phnom Penh. As you can see, we're crossing over. Core Beach, or Diamond Island, as it is popularly known here, is set to transform into a smart city in three to five years. Our guide told us that we need to check out this Chinese city. Well, let's find out if this is a Chinese city or what elements or aspects of Chinese city it has. So we took a tuk-tuk driver and we just put copage and wherever he will drop us, that is where we're going to start exploring this city. Come with us. So this seems like the more developed area of Penang Pen. You can see all the tall structures are here. We just came off the tuk-tuk and our first stop is here, dive into the wonder of Menaka, Penong Pen. Let's see what we have in here. Wow, so many tall buildings, skyscrapers. So how does someone get in here? Hello. Oh, this side. Okay, so What's your name? Uh, uh, Hong 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 Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Akan. <laughs> okay. So we are at the aquatation of Diamond Island Office Park. This is where the tuk tuk driver has told us to stop. So why are we coming to the office park? <laughs> anyway, let's get in and see what we're gonna find in this place. <laughs> I think I should now call this Lost Adventures because now it looks like we're just stepping out, going to places without knowing what to expect and just going with the flow. In the Lost Adventures, so we're still here. Hello! Yeah. Dale! Good job! Good job, right? Yeah, thank you so much for And now we're stepping out, you just want to check out other places. Maybe the taxi driver didn't understand exactly what you wanted, but wow, where else are you going to get free mangoes on the street? Hello! Hello! Coconut Park so many places you can see chinese center here and let's go across and see what we have in this city looks like a modern area i don't see many cables here unlike most of the places that have been here in cambodia <coughs> yeah across the streets all the shops that written in cambodia I think English and Chinese. So now I understand maybe why they say this is the Chinese Chinese city. But I actually love the architecture that we see. And there's also 
uh, of course very few people in this side of town so we have two sections of this city of the diamond city so we have that section on the opposite towards that side behind this building where we have all the shiny you know blue tall skyscrapers but my favorite designs are actually this one i think this building is just so beautiful and most of the buildings from this side they actually look like that which i think is really beautiful apparently this city is being developed in partnership with the chinese and a lot of investors and property buyers are chinese that is why you will find that most of the writing is in khmer and chinese language also you will notice that the number four is being avoided so if it's a building there is no fourth floor on the streets there's no fourth street 24 14 any number that has four because in chinese it is considered an unlucky number and it is homophonous to the word death now you know have all this european looking like architecture with some um, cambodian and chinese writing so let's just walk up take a walk across the street and see what we got here a very nice place so so this place is called diamond island and wow it's really nice and it's actually located in between two rivers the Mekong and Basak rivers here in Penong Pe so it's basically an island in between two rivers a lot of the property investors or buyers here are buying the property hoping that as the property price keeps going high they will be able to sell this property in future at a profit as you all know cambodia had a painful past and it is now rebuilding so because of this a lot of people are really getting into the real estate industry with the hope that they'll be able to make profit out of this place also it's one of the first rising economies here in southeast asia and with property being so expensive in other parts of this region some people prefer to buy their property or to buy their houses and invest in cambodia compared to where they cannot afford their property is already expensive so the land in this city it used to be a swamp in between these two rivers up to until the year 2000 and then construction began here in the 2000s and right now you won't believe that the place that was once a swamp is now a city and a lot of people with money they actually would prefer to live here because as you can see it's less crowded compared to the other sea sides of Penong Peng lovely wow it's like there's no people and i'm just roaming in the streets freely however in this continuation of my lost series where are the people all these structures beautiful houses big houses where are the people like there's very few people here this is creative look at how they are getting i don't know if this is planting new plants relying on the other plants but this is so creative never seen anything like this wow looks like it's a different plant right it's not the same plant they, it's that's growing maybe it is and this is what it looks like when it's a baby and they even water it this neighborhood here 
in Diamond Island is actually called Elise, like it's inspired by Champs Elysees in France. <laughs> so, as you can see, the style of the building, the structures, they all look European. So, France, I just learned that it's actually inspired by France, that's why you can see they're trying to build like high end luxurious french like buildings and down on these streets is where you're going to find one side of the river like i told you this place is an island so enjoy let's go have a view of the river there is some french influence in this country well before the communists came to this country there were the French who were occupying this land, who were colonizing this land. So that's why you, there's a lot of French influence here. Like I mentioned earlier, this island is located between two rivers and this is one of the rivers and as you can see, we have the beautiful Elysee neighborhood residential area in this place and you can tell that there's always continuous construction going on across that side it's as if they're trying to construct a bridge to link the mainland to the island on this side wow So what are we looking for? Uh, Show us what you're looking for. Ak Hello. Hello. How are you? Susu day. <laughs> oh, it's the way the people are staring at us for me. It's like, who are these? That building? Yes, it's that okay. Way. Okay, we continue. It's our turn to cross. You know, this is a very rich neighborhood. And these are residential houses. Yes. Do you want me to get you an apartment here? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Today it's okay. Today you don't today, need an apartment today, here. No. Tomorrow maybe I'll think about it. Okay, free apartment. Okay, so she gets a new apartment tomorrow. Wow. So I just want to give you wow. Looks really nice. Look at the streets. Very beautiful. Oops, looks like Paris. Are... Look at the beautiful streets. up for sale as well they've just written in chinese and their language Khmer. wow Woo. i want an apartment i wonder how much an apartment would look like here hello <laughs> susu day i'm good 
Yeah, you see, these buildings are all up for sale. Do you know how much? I don't know. Uh huh. Yeah. Where you, can someone get information? Like a phone. Oh, I take the phone and call them. Mm. Okay, so here are the contact numbers. If you want to own one of these. very interesting place this is like little France and the construction is still going on yeah. and the neighborhood comes with three mangoes mango trees lined all over the street Where do you feel you are? Paris. Champs Elysees. Wow, super impressed. Even this building across the road, the houses are also up for sale. So you can experience your own party right here in Cambodia and this is where we were looking for we found it. The more we're walking in this city, the more we are seeing the imitation with Champs Elysees in France. And this arc you see in front of us, this is Arc de Triomphe. In France, it is one of the famous monuments in Paris, standing at Champs Elysees, Paris. This Arc de Triomphe honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. Well, for this one here in Phnom Penh Diamond Island, I'm not so sure what it signifies. But if you know what it signifies, you can let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, so you can see that is the Elise, the Elise Management Office that's managing all these French-like buildings that you can see. I'm really curious to know how much these buildings or the apartments here go for. So I might just go across the road to find out for those ones who might be interested in getting property here. The sun is setting so beautiful. So there's a great mix of Chinese, French and Cambodian. In this city, you can see Hong Kong Dia Katrina skincare. So Diamond Island is also called Copich. 
looks like we're getting to the end of the street, so we're gonna turn. You can see the Chinese decor. Elise. And the sun is now setting in this beautiful city. Wow, so this is what the inner street of this residential area look like. Beautiful place. Walking in this street feels like some streets in Europe, just that at the moment most of this area has not been occupied, although a good number of the houses in this place have already been bought. The only thing missing is people. And of course, some restaurants. Another notable difference you will note is the writing. Of course, it's written in Khmer and Chinese in most places here as opposed to french or some other language anyway let's take a walk and enjoy the beautiful streets of champs d'elysee de phnom penh cambodia Stupid. Hi. She was my accomplice too. I just saw her smiling at me and I greeted her. So this is what it's called. Promenade. The Champs Elé. Elysée. Yeah. Promenade de Champs Elysée. Yeah, a lot of units here look vacant. You know she was smiling at me. I know. And I didn't know why she was smiling. Because we we work we were working together. Uh-huh. Told her that's my friend, she's coming. I'm not scared of her. She's like, yeah, she's coming, she's coming. She was telling me like this. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I jumped out a bit late. <laughs> I I'd not noticed you, I thought you were at the end, but this is such a nice neighborhood. I can imagine Downey is going to have a lot of restaurants, you know? You know how Europe is downstairs it will be restaurants and then on the top it will be people living. Wait. Where does this elevator go? To downstairs. Because up no. doesn't connect. I think, wait, let's, let's go that way. Because it's also where the arc is. And then here in the back. 
Are we at the arc? Yeah, there is the arc over there. Uh-huh. So I think, like, even in the arc, you come through it, and then you come here. Ah, uh, this is just the river. Yeah. So they have a river view. We're going to people's houses. The backyard. So some of the units here, they are facing the river and the city on the other side and there's a walking path there but I just want to walk in this little fonts fonts we are back in the streets of fonts you see I mentioned that this place was inspired by the Champs Elysees some students coming from school and on this side you can see it's uh see if they are setting up a uh, small restaurant or small eateries probably to cater for the people who are already living in this neighborhood actually this place has already been occupied so these people who are staying here and a quick online search showed me that a renting on apartment here per month can cost you approximately two thousand dollars that is according to the online sources that i checked also this place like i mentioned they are setting it to become a smart city so it's going to be complete there's already a school there's already an international school so definitely there's going to be education centers there's going to be banking basically you're going to get Canadian everything bank. that you will need without necessarily having to leave the island that is the goal of whatever they are doing here as you can see that is canadia bank and we are now at the app.triumph so here at Canadian Bank, it's actually hosted at that very same app that I showed you earlier. But now, let's go to the back and see how people are relaxing and enjoying. Most people come to this side of the river to just enjoy the views and to as well relax and just have a good time. So let's see what's happening here at the back. A very nice place to stroll, work out with the view of the river. You sing? Uh, yes. Do you sing? Yeah. Oh. oh. Give us one. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh. And the smile on your face. Hello. 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 your social media oh uh, yes <clears throat> where uh, we uh, you can follow us on Instagram uh, I'm rave dot uh. 
I'll, I'll spell it later. Okay, you're uh, going to show me. I'll write it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm I'm Tan. Uh huh. T A N J E S S. Uh Underscore. Uh huh. P. P. Did you write the song? We yes. we are on processing to uh, produce some songs. Uh huh. An album. Yeah. Uh, within these three months. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And you sing with them too? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm a father. Oh, father. Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Supporting your sons. Ooh, where are you from? I'm from Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice yeah. Kenya. You're from Thailand. Oh, from Thailand. Yes, yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Beautiful country. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Country. Like, uh, so, Kenya. do you stay here? Oh, no, no, no. Uh. Uh, we just like on work vacation. Uh huh. Yeah. So, do you go to different countries to sing? Uh, actually, yes. Uh huh. We, we are looking for the location to uh, produce uh, some mu music. Music. Video. Uh huh. Yeah. After we finish our song and then we will go shooting. Uh huh. So we, we come here to Hello. like. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. that's friend. really lovely. Hey, yeah. Friends. Ah, from Kenya. Ethiopia. She's oh, from oh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are. We're runners. <laughs> we're runners. But, but we're, we're not oh. runners. We're we run very much. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are from okay, Thailand. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They're musicians. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we hear a song? <laughs> I. Arisman. Arisman. And this song, uh, Do You Love Me? Do You Love Me? It's your, your okay. own song. Do You Love Me? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> Everyone loves you. <laughs> Everyone loves yeah, you and love cares. You. Yeah. Young lady you see here is their younger sister. Yeah. And she is a model and an actor as well. If you want to follow Actress. her. Actress. Yeah. Yes. Actress. Sorry, my English. Uh, I'll put her. <clears throat> she is star uh, in TikTok. Oh, oh she's, yeah, she's a star in TikTok. Yeah. Ah, what's your TikTok? TikTok. My TikTok name is Silly. You can put. There. Okay. Yeah, we, we are gonna follow you on TikTok <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a family of stars. stars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the father was a musician. Thirty-five from thirty-five years ago. Yeah. And he has popular songs. So. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful place. Yes. <laughs> and you guys are from Bangkok, right? Or yes. you're from Bangkok? Yeah, we're from Bangkok. Yeah. And you guys live there and Papa lives here. Yes. Amazing. Awesome. Thank okay. you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Anna, check your TikTok. Well, so we met some Thai musicians that have been performing for us. And now <laughs> we they were so nice and so cute. They so wonderful to see smiley faces and so willing to talk to you. I think that's the most beautiful thing about traveling and meeting people. And yeah, so it was amazing. Yeah, so let's continue walking in the little French. 
France. French. I said French. <laughs> yeah, so let's continue checking out this neighborhood. Although it's a bit dark. Maybe next time we're in this side, we can find um, the management to show us some apartments and buildings for those ones who will be interested in staying in Cambodia or investing here. I love, love, love the lighting here. Oh well, looking like we're getting to the end of the street. And that marks the end of the street. If you want to go to France, we'll bring you France. <laughs> so you don't have to go for France if you're going for the views. You have your own little France here well thank you so much for watching that episode i hope you truly enjoyed it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe see you on the next one Bye bye